Hey, need some Madden coins? Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. We got the best prices, we got fast delivery, and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Welcome back, everybody. It is your boy, Texas, back with another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. And today, we'll be going over the best power-up offensive players you can get on your squad for under 250 training. Now, a lot of these power-ups are basically between 200 and 213. It's a weird number. I know 250 just sounds so much better than 225. So we're going to go ahead and go 250. And I got to repeat myself once again. So I apologize if it's like a broken record, but a lot of people that come to the channel may be new. So for those that don't know, you don't have to buy the best player to power him up. You can just use his 68 overall or maybe 73 overall which is gonna be, yeah, we got ledges in this video that you can power up. But use their lesser overall version and you power up for a certain amount of training. In this case, everybody on offense is gonna be under 250 training and you can go ahead and try the player out. The stats you're gonna be sacrificing aren't gonna be much, minus two at the most, but it's not enough to where you're gonna notice it on the field. So you can go ahead and get a good indication whether or not this player is gonna be somebody you wanna keep on your team in the long run. I also gotta mention this as well. I may end up using a guy more than once on this list because some of these cards are just really good from a 100 training to 125 training to 148 to 213 to 300. Like some of these guys are just that good. You may see them on this list a bunch of times. So if I repeat myself, I'm sorry, just know that player is stupid glitchy. And if he's coming up more than once, you should probably add him to your team. Like I said, we're doing offense in this video, defense in the next one. If you guys wanna find all these power up advice budget videos, there's gonna be a playlist as well for those that wanna check them out. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and discuss the best power up players you can pick up for under 250 training. Starting with the quarterback is gonna be the legendary 73 overall Michael Vick. You get this guy for free, so instead of paying, what's he going for right now? Like, instead of paying on PS4, if you were to buy him off the auction block, he is going for about three and a half K. You can go ahead and save some coins and play the solo challenge and get this guy on your team for cost of solos. But you go ahead and get this guy for free essentially and then you spend 200 training to get him up to an 83 overall, okay? 200 training gets to an 83 overall. Look at this guy's stats, right? So he's 84 speed, 86 throw power, and he also has terrible throwing stats. <laughs> no other way to put it. But when I compare this guy to a quarterback like Cam Newton, which is stats you be on the screen right now, you're not really missing out on much. So Vic has 84 speed to Cam's like 77. Now Cam does have the 89 throw power to 86. I do want to see some testing and see how fast the difference is when the ball gets out of the quarterback's hand to the receiver, because I'm not too sure what the difference is from 86 to 89. And so eight, I, to me, it's close, so it's probably going to be negligible, if anything. So that's not that big of a deal. And then you check out the throwing stats, right? So Cam has like 70 throw short versus Vic has 79. The throw mid, Cam is better by two. And then the throw deep, Vic is better by five. And so you're not really sacrificing anything. Plus right now, Cam's like 30,000 coins plus. Whereas if you were to just quick sell an 83 overall, which is like 15K right now, you'd be spending 15,000 coins to get this Michael Vick, which is a nice quarterback to have for solo battles. Cause one, he can scramble. So if they're sending pressure off the edge and you have nobody open, he can move out of the pocket. Cause at 84 speed should be able to outrun a lot of spies. Cause Cam's not doing that. Like a lot of the defenders in the game have like, have at least what? Like 74, 75 speed and the fastest linebacker is like 84, and no, not too many guys have 84 speed linebackers on their solo battle teams or on their head-to-head -head team, so this guy should be able to outrun spies. You're only gonna be spending 15,000 coins to get the training for him more than likely, if not already have it for free if you're playing the weekly solos that come out into the game. He's much better than the quarterbacks like Carson Wentz, the Cam Newtons, the Russell Wilsons, and he's not as fast as Lamar Jackson, but he has the accuracy Lamar Jackson doesn't, so you can definitely get by and pick up this Michael Vick for the low, low cost of 200 training. Staying with the Falcons, we got Devonta Freeman up next, and he gets to an 83 overall. You guys are probably gonna see the trend in this video that all these guys reach an 83 overall. But Devonta Freeman has 84 speed, 88 agility, 84 acceleration, and he also has himself, what is that, 85 juke move, and also has an 85 spin move. So for 213 training, you get an 84 speed halfback with 85 spin, 85 juke move. Now, I know some of you guys are seeing his stats, you're like, yo, Tex, he's, he's not worthy of being on this list, and I, I, I would typically agree with you because I'm not really a big fan of halfbacks that have 84 speed, but the five foot eight frame, the five foot eight frame is gonna make this guy much harder to bring down. I don't know why, Smaller halfbacks in Madden, like Darren Sproles, the MJDs that came out before, Devonta Freeman just play a little bit more glitchier than other halfbacks because they're like 
average linebacker, like, like six foot one, six two, like oh, not even that tall. I mean, but like you get my point. Like a lot of these guys are are monsters among men, and having to get low lower than this guy to make a tackle just seems like it's not possible. So height does play a factor. There are height thresholds, and I think that since he's one of those shorter guys, he's gonna have quicker step, which means be a little bit more agile. As you can see, his agility is high as hell as well. I like this dude's card a lot. Plus, if he plays well for you, you can also just use your power up pass and give him to an 86 speed halfback. And so you can go ahead and chest him out, bro. Like, this is a guy that I would think to pick up on your team just because, like, that, them, them short halfbacks are glitchy for some reason, man. I don't know why it is, but they just do things that tall halfbacks can't. Going back to the legends, next up we got one Hall of Famer. I was going to say future Hall of Famer. I forgot he just went in this past week. But we got Rand not, it's not this past week, but you get my point. He just went to the Hall of Fame. We got Randall Moss. Randy Moss, the best wide receiver of all time. If I had a, if I had to make a list, right? Y'all can get mad at me because like, y'all like to get mad when I make lists about stuff that I like. But if I was ranking the best receivers of all time, it's going to go Randy Moss number one. Number two, Jerry Rice. Number three, Terrell Owens. I think that's a fair list. You guys may kill me. And I may put, I, see, I would have I put Calvin over Terrell Owens, but like, just get mad at me down in the comment section because I know y'all gonna get mad at me. You Jerry Rice stands out there, might get so mad. But Randy Moss, I take him over Jerry Rice any day of the week. And I take him over Mud as well, even though I have yet to upgrade this card because, yeah. Regardless, again, you get this guy for free. So instead of paying, I gotta check his price one again. What is Randy Moss going for in the auction block right now? He is, what, 5K. So instead of paying 5,000 coins, knock out those Legend Solos, get yourself Randy Moss, and get 200 training points to get this guy to an 83 overall. Yeah, that trend is really strong. But yeah, 83 overall Randy Moss, 86 speed, 81 catching. So go look on the auction block right now. How many receivers that are an 83 overall, even higher than that, are going to be at this height with that speed? I tell you, not that many. Zero, other than this guy. So look at what the AJ Green that just came out, right? AJ Green just came out to a 90 overall, and he's amazing. 6'3, 6'4 receiver, right? 85 speed. Randy Moss is 83 overall with 86 speed, 81 catching. This is a unicorn right now, and obviously your, your hopes is to upgrade this guy to his 89, but for right now, just starting out playing weekend league, playing solo battles, having this guy on the field cannot hurt you at all. And plus, he gets ridiculous catch animations. I wish I had some Mud Squads clips for me playing with this Randy Moss and just, dog, he gets the most annoying catches that I've seen. And so you might wanna have this guy on your team when you need to break glass in case of emergency type catch. Moving on to the tight end position, we got Greg Olson up next. Gets to an 83 overall for only 213 training. Now, I wasn't going to add any tight ends to this list, but after looking at this guy, I'm like, yeah, he has to make the list. So I'm looking at this dude compared to the 87 overall Zachary Ertz, right? Zach Ertz is a beast, but he's slow, like 77 speed slow. He's a really good catching guy. Like he can catch all the passes you want him to catch. Like You can do anything you need him to. Except for run block, because he's terrible at that. And also run fast. He's terrible at that as well. Greg Olson's kind of the same way. Like, Greg Olson's 83 is very similar to the 87 overall Zach Ertz. Now, the one thing that's kind of different is going to be the catching. Obviously, Zach Ertz has, like, all the catching stats in the world. But Greg Olson's only going to be down, like, two or three in some of these points. Like, you're not really seeing huge, crazy differences besides, like, maybe some of the thresholds that these guys may hit to get in the building. But since these guys are not going to be low overall... No ability is going to be gotten at all. So this Greg Olsen is a nice card to invest, in, especially if you're using a power up pass, give him to his 86, and then if you want to do his team diamond as well, because he's one of the he's the best tight end in the game. Like this, this he's the best tight end in Madden right now, and it's not even close. So I like this dude's card for the price right now. He's fast. He really can't run block, but if you don't got Zach Ertz, you didn't choose him for your um what you call it, the campaign players, because you were a smart person and chose LaShawn McCoy, this Greg Olson is going to be a nice consolation prize if you ask me. We have two more players up next. Both are going to be live, and one of them is going to be this 83 overall Andrew Norwell, and he is a, an amazing, an amazing left guard. His only weakness, I would say, is he's going to be his impact block, so if you run a lot of power run plays, or not, well, you call him power run, where he's going to be pulling and kicking a guy out, the impact block is just going to get, nah, he's not going to be kicking any linebacker out. 77 impact block is low. And for those that don't know, impact block is very important when it comes to moving guys out of the way or pancaking them. A lot of defenders, like linebackers and cornerbacks and, well, linebackers and defensive linemen have high impact blocks, so you're not going to really win the matchup when, when it comes to impact block. This guy's in a slow jog, so keep that in mind. But everything else on this guy's card is amazing, man. 84 run block, very solid. And then 87 
pass block. Like, that is an amazing guy to pick up for, what, 213 training? Again, I'm going to put out the whole bat signal. Go go find me a left guard in the game that's 83 overall that has these stats, 87 to 84. You'll find 88 and, like, 70-something. You'll find 70-something in high run blocks. You're not going to find a combination of the two. That is awesome to have. So I like this dude's card a lot. Uh, so he's a really cheap offensive lineman you can get because right now linemen are going for a lot in Madden. Like, they're going, like, you can pull 84 overall linemen and it goes for more than some 85 overall, like, skill position players because linemen are important this year. The blocking is very important. EA did a good job this year. I mean, they still be out here doing dumb shit in solo battles, but, like, for the most part, they seem to have not fixed it, but it's much better than it has been in years past outside of just blatantly breaking the whole ID the mic situation. How'd they break that? It was working fine and they broke it. What's going on there? I ID this guy coming at me. My guy just looks at him like, hey, just, just, just come by through. Yo, you, you got an invite to the club? Come, come right through. Dog, block him. That's the only thing that annoys me. Like, I, I see the guy coming to Blitz. I ID him. They should block him. But that's, that's, that's something they'll probably fix in the next patch. But yeah, get this Norwell 213 training. You're not going to find much better than that. And last but certainly not least, we got this Ryan Ramchek. Again, my man has one vowel in his name. I know sometimes why it is, is a vowel, right? Is, 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 what is it called? A E I O U, sometimes Y and W. Is that what it is? This dude has, whatever. Why is that a vowel? But my man got one vowel in his name, right? So Ryan Ramchek, whatever. Uh, it's 213 training, again, 83 overall. He gets. 82 pass block, 85 run block. So not as lopsided as a Norwell is, but again, nice option to have at the right tackle spot for those trying to rock a team on a budget. Also, don't pay attention to run block power or finesse, because look at this guy, right? Nothing about this guy with his 54 speed, his 58 acceleration, and his 64 agility. Scream out a really good run blocker finesse type, right? This guy seems to be the guy that'll just run you over. Like, like you, me, you in front of me, I'm gonna push you out the way. Just look at his run block, look at his pass block. And this guy does have really good ratings for what the price should be paying for. So keep that in mind. And if he plays well for you, again, power up pass past him. So you can save some coin, get 88 run block, 85 pass block, which again, dog, that Norwell is so good. Like he's 87, 84, like, like yo! Norwell's the best left guard in the game. Anyway, that is gonna be the list of the best power up players on offense you can pick up for under 250 training. If I missed anybody. Go ahead and let me know. I know I didn't miss anybody. I did my homework on this list, but sometimes y'all have better players that I forgot to mention. And so just let me know. Keep me updated. And then maybe you'll see them in the future. If not, um, yeah. If you guys enjoy the content, leave a like upon the video. As well as subscribe if you guys are new. And ring that bell. Let me get my microphone. That's being weird. I'm being really weird right now. But yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. As well as ring the bell because YouTube be tripping and you guys want to be sure you get notified whenever I upload a video because it's going to be heat. It's going to be mad and stuff again. We got a playlist on the channel right now for all of the power up stuff from the training as well as one for the power up pass. If you guys know what's going on with that, be sure to check all that out. It's been your boy, Texas. Get to powering up some players. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey. This ain't money came by your happiness, but I swear to God, it's a good down play. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns, now you don't play a pound cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God, I ain't never found safe.